Hello and welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday. This week, a continuation of why Box Rise isn't a real thing, but Impedance Rise is. Uh, last video, we had subs in free air. This week, we've got it in an enclosure. So we're going to show the difference of different frequencies in this box and with changing port length, which will change our tuning, also playing the same frequencies. So we've got two YOLO V212s in this enclosure, two 6-inch arrow ports, and a Merica 12K. That's what we'll be using for this example. Now we'll cut over to the meter so you can see exactly what's happening. Okay, so for the first uh, couple sets of tests here, we are going to look at the power maximum here, the Z maximum. So that is our impedance at the specific power, which you'll see right here. And what we're going to look for is at 50 watts uh, as our first target number at the peak frequency of this particular setup at this particular volume. So there we have a 138.0 at 50 watts with our uh, maximum impedance of 3.1 ohms. Now this is wired at 0 0.5 ohms on this amp. So that's going from 0 0.5 to 3.1 at 50 watts. So what we're going to demonstrate from here is what if we go down five hertz. We're going to go for the same 50 watts to make it consistent. So we just barely went over there, but that is 2.1 ohms. So we went down 5 hertz, went down 1 full ohm. So take that into consideration when you're saying it only makes this much power and it's at this frequency. That was 5 hertz lower than uh, where we started. So now we're going to go to 5 hertz higher. And we're going to do the same thing. So here at 3.3 .3 ohms. So you can see that the curve has changed quite a bit going below where that was versus higher. Now the way that this car is actually working right now is it is peaking below tuning. Um, so that is a, another difference is this frequency that we're playing about right now is right around tuning. It's within a couple hertz of what the actual tuning frequency is. So there's going to be less difference there. But we're going to do different power levels and show where that comes into play as well, keeping in mind what our previous impedance was at 50 watts. So now we're going to move on to 500 watts. So I'm going to head one thing off at the pass before I do any of this testing. The sensor is not in the port. It is on the dash. Just keep that in mind, because I know somebody's going to say something. So again, we're looking at the Z at SPL max and the power max. These two things right here. We will now do 500 watts. All right, so I uh, went a little bit high there. So 505, that's 3.0 ohms, which is similar to what we saw at 50 watts. And uh, 
the power max and Z max are the same number in this particular case. So now we're five hertz lower and we're gonna aim for 500 watts again. So now we've got 2.2 ohms. Again, we're similar at this power level. So what we're gonna do now is go to way more power. I think we're gonna see a difference in the impedance right here. Uh, I'm only going to do it, I believe, at the frequency I normally test at, which remember was right around three ohms, just over three ohms. So we'll check that with way more power. Now trying this way more power, uh, whatever power level we get to is the one that I will match after we change ports. So 5,300 watts is the, uh, the number that we're looking for when we do the port change. But you can see we're at 2.6 ohms. So we went from 3.1, 3.2 down to 2.6 with more power on it. So now I've extended the port length quite a bit. This is not anything specific. It's just another length of uh, tube that I had. So we're going to test this and show the example of what happens with the same frequency with different tuning and also find where these peak and see how it varies. Okay, so now we're starting with the original peak frequency at 50 watts. Now our impedance is 5.7 ohms. Now remember, we are starting at 0.5. We're going from 0.5 to 5.7. Originally it was 3.1 or 3.2. We're all the way up to 5.7 and the only thing I've changed is the port length, which is changing the tuning quite a bit. But let's go down to uh, five hertz below. We'll do the same thing. So this time we're at 6.2 ohms. The others, we we're at around a little over two ohms. So this has made a huge difference in our impedance by just changing the port length. So keep that in consideration uh, when you say, well, it makes this much power at this impedance. And then you just assume that the impedance is the same. It's not. The only thing we've changed is the tuning and impedance has tripled. So that can make a very, very large difference in those. Uh, now we will go up to 5 hertz above. And we're at 3.9 ohms. So again, there was some change. So next, we will go up to 500 watts. And uh, we'll do that at the original frequency. And then we will find the peak frequency with this tuning and compare that on the impedance. Okay, so we've done a little bit of testing here and we found that all of that extra port length changed the actual peak frequency by two hertz. So we're gonna go to 500 watts and see where our impedance is. So I went just a hair over on power, but that's four and a half ohms. So now you can see where that has changed by going down two hertz, uh, extending the port length. So in any other instance where you could change the port length just a little bit, change the frequency just a little bit, that shows your shift in impedance. So that's going to vary by frequency, port length, tuning. One small change can change that impedance. 
So you can't go off of it's this many times rise or anything like that. And we haven't even changed the subs, haven't changed volumes. Only thing we've changed is the port length, which changed the frequency by two hertz. So now we're going to go up to the 5300 uh, watts mark at this peak frequency and see what it does there. Okay, so the goal this time is our new peak frequency and 5300 watts. So I went a little bit over. I'm in a touchy spot in the volume where if I roll it, I have to roll it super slow or I go way over or the next volume click down won't get there. But in that neighborhood, a uh, 5,500 watts, 3.7 ohms. So you can see what has changed there uh, by the two hertz and going up in high power level from the lower power level there as well. So to wrap up at the 50 watt level with the shorter port, we had 3.1 ohms at the peak, 2.1 ohms, 5 hertz below, and 3.3 ohms above. Where with the longer port, we had 5.7 ohms at the original frequency, 6.2 ohms, 5 hertz below, and 3.9 ohms, 5 hertz above. At the 500 watt level, with the shorter port, we had 3.0 ohms at the peak, 2.2 ohms, 5 hertz below, while with the longer port, it was 4.5 ohms at the peak. So we had a substantial increase at the higher power level at that peak frequency. Over 5,000 watts, with the shorter port, it was 2.6 ohms at the peak. With the longer port, we changed frequency, we were 2 hertz down, but it was 4.0 ohms at the peak. So again, there was a substantial impedance change with only 2 hertz difference, but that was with changing tuning, so it was both the peak frequency. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, make sure you comment below on what you think about this video and some of the other videos, any suggestions you have for future videos. If you have any questions, ask those in the comments below and I will answer them as best I can, as quickly as I can. And I'll catch you again on another Tech Stuff Tuesday.